Hello, and welcome to another City Skylines tutorial with me, Woody Powers, collaborating with Paradox Interactive to show you how to build an impressive looking industrial seaport and rail yard combination here on the official City Skylines YouTube channel. So I have started working on a brand new city in front of the highly anticipated release of industries. What you are seeing today comes from Xbox, but it works the same for PlayStation and PC. And now that industries is here, I am so excited Let's get to work building a great looking industrial seaport connected to an industrial rail yard while making it aesthetically pleasing. As any player knows, industrial areas can be tricky, becoming the catalyst for major traffic jams and pollution issues. So today we want to take you from this to this. Yes, an area so clean and cool you would be proud to take your mom on a tour. I already have my roadways and highways laid out in advance, designed to keep those trucks moving with loads of things we build in our city like smartphones and frozen fish sticks. However, combining the seaport to the rail yard can be a challenge. The best place to begin is by creating our harbor area, with keys being the key. Let's start by going to the landscaping menu, grab our keys, and make a border for this harbor. Alright, I like the way this looks. Now, once we've got those seawalls in place, we want to head on over to the transportation menu, look for the cargo hub, and we'll just scan around looking for the perfect place. I think this will do. However, before we plop it down, we want to make sure to double check the route of our cargo ships, looking for a clear line of sight. We don't want a titanic sized disaster as those ships roll in. There we go, two cargo hubs is going to fill this space nicely. So let's go back to the transportation menu and plop down this cargo train terminal, which will be the hub of our railway. And then next, we are going to complete our rail line. I like to use a central line so that we can connect the cargo hub like I'm doing here, and then connecting a line to our cargo train terminal. We'll move back to our cargo hub and connect that track as well to create a symbiotic industrial area. Okay, now that ships and trains can move freely, we want to build up that industrial area. But it does not have to look like the inside of a microwave at work or the floor of a college dorm room. No, industrial areas can look neat and clean and become the envy of your city. Hack number one, plop some tiles from the Park Life menu before building, filling in the area like I'm doing here. Then you just move on over, grab some yellow industrial tiles. Let's zone that and just let it grow like a beautiful flower. So one of my own personal tricks is adding one or two office tiles. Most factories have an office space for accountants and human resources and managers, and I think growing a small office building adds nicely to our industrial concept. Then I like to finish off the area with some fences and some props from the new industrial DLC. We'll throw in some trees. Man, I am going to grab my resume and apply to work at this factory. I love the way it looks. By the way, I suggest keeping your factories a distance apart to help you avoid pollution and traffic issues. It also helps to make several smaller industrial areas around your city. Okay, let's complete this area by adding a few unique factories from the Industries menu. Oh, I love that one. And a few more ploppable storage areas. We're also going to add in a bunch of fences to keep people from stealing our industrial secrets. And we are going to plop a lot of trees around the entire area so that it looks like it qualifies for the new reality TV show, Cities Got Talent. Here we go! TVs, bathing suits, and bananas arriving daily by sea and being distributed by trucks and trains. Hey, thank you so much for watching today. More tutorials to come, and make sure to subscribe down below.